I'm delighted to be joined here at St. Commons Park by the uh, Longford Town uh, manager, and that is Dara Doyle. And Dara, that's a great way to finish the regular league season going into the playoffs. A good win, 3-1 against uh, Cove Anders here. And the second half performance in particular was very impressive. You know, it was, even in the first half, I, I felt it was impressive and we controlled the games for long spells. Um, they obviously got a goal from the ball over the top, whether it was offside, it was possibly questionable. But then we make a bad decision in giving away the penalty. Um, and I think Connor possibly had it under control. Um, we come out in the second half and we did. We played really well. I mean, with the ball, we looked like we were creating a chance and we kept it really well. What was really pleasing then on the flip side of that is that our shape without the ball. We just look like we're really organised and we're going to win the ball back here most of the time. So it was really pleasing and delighted. This is a tough place to come and get a result. So we've came here today to Cove in the past. Listen, we come down here early in the season and then they'll all draw. It's a difficult place to come and particularly with the suspensions, injuries and a couple of the personal issues obviously over the weekend so it's, it's fantastic to the lads and it's a credit that they've come down here and put in that performance and got that result to lead us into the playoffs. Because obviously you're missing the two lads who got suspended, like, who got yeah. sent off last week, yeah. Carl Chambers mm -hmm. and of course Anto Bress and Aidan yeah. Irvin was also suspended tonight and you yeah. mentioned three or four other players missing through yeah. a variety of personal yeah, of issues and injuries so a lot of players missing tonight but I have felt that the players who came in tonight the likes of Paulie O'Connor and uh, Adam Evans and Peter Hopkins, they all did very well tonight. Yeah, listen, they're doing great. You can add um, Tristan to that. Tristan was absent as well. You've yeah. obviously have Joe Manley who's been in and, mm. and sort of out. And he's, he's a solid fullback. Yeah, and listen, that's that's the great thing about the squad this year. It's all them to them after. I said the only reason we're as strong as we are is because of the strength of the group. And it's great in circumstances like tonight that the lads that have been waiting on the game have come in there tonight and shown exactly why we're as strong as we are. They've come in and they've performed great. And listen, some of them have really given you a thought to think when we do have people available, we know the options are there. So now I'm delighted with it and delighted with the lads that came in, plus obviously the lads that have been playing and have been Zamber playing in you know, a familiar position. And full back. Yeah, listen, but it's, it's somewhere I know Dean can play. When I played with Dean at Bray, I've seen him playing full back on a number of occasions there. So it's something possibly having to look at with Shane Elmore suspended and um, Anta Breslin suspended. So it was good for us to sort of see how we'd react in a game there this evening and listen to them really well there as well. But delighted with the whole team and nice to see a couple of under 19s get on the pitch there again tonight. It certainly was. And you mentioned Tristan, mm -hmm. Tristian all the way through underage mm -hmm. level was probably more renowned for being a centre half. But yeah. in the League of Ireland, Longford Town, he's usually played as uh, left full. Yeah. But he was in it centre half which he has been very comfortable playing throughout yeah. the years. Yeah, no, he has. And listen, he came in there tonight and I told him after the game, I was delighted with his performance. Um, I thought he done really well. And um, no, it was, it's a credit to Tristan and his professionalism with the lack of games that he's had this season that he's been able to come in tonight um, and been told you up to the pace of the game and had a really good night. So delighted for him. There were lots of passages of excellent football. Even the co-reporters in, in the press box were complimenting Longford Town on some of the free-flowing moves they put together. Yeah, I mean, we've got some excellent footballers out there on the pitch. I mean, when you've got Pauly who controls midfield tonight and you had Jack Doherty and Dean Bourne in there alongside him. He had some engines some, tonight, hadn't he, Jack? Yeah, like some of these lads, they're super footballers, so that's what we expect from them. And they, they show that. We say to them every time they go out before they play, to go and perform, go and show people how good you are. But on the flip side of that, number one thing we always say to them is your work rate has to be right up there. It has to be there for the whole game. And I think you can see that from the lads. And we believe in them and we want them to play that style of football. And we want to work really hard and we don't have the ball in it. It all's coming together and it's, it's really positive going into the playoffs. Now looking at the players, we've got shells of league winners. Drada finishing second, Pippin Longford on goal difference. Yeah. Longford Town third, Capitini yeah. in fourth mm -hmm. place a point behind yeah. so it's going to be tight when you look at the season Longford have had the Indian sign of Adrado winning all three yeah. league games Cavantini have won two and drawn one of the three games yeah. in yeah. Longford Town yeah. so both tough teams uh, going into the playoffs Cavantini up first and of course you know Cavantini very well yeah no I, I know a lot of the players I, I know all the staff I mean I worked with Pat right. and Eddie for a number of years um, I, we know I know what to expect from playing against Cavantini I'm expecting a really difficult game um, but the other side of that is, with my knowledge of the things with them, there's things that we, we know what to expect in the game, and we'll be prepared for the game. We will be prepared for the game. Like I said, we've got two weeks for that now. And um, just said to the lads, I can't wait for it to come around. Mm. It's, it's great for Longford to be in the playoffs, just missing out last year, finishing fifth. Yeah. So to have qualified for the playoffs with two matches to spare yeah. was uh, very... A very relaxing feeling for everyone involved with the club and everyone is really excited about these end of season players. I think it's a great idea, these yeah. players. No, yeah, they're great. I mean, I, 
couple of years ago I played in the league um, when it was just first place that went up and there was no playoff games and you look when it gets to the last stages of the season when it was like that and there were so many dead rubbers in the league and at that point you had one or two teams like sort of Limerick and Warford in the couple of years that I played in the division where they ran away with it and there was nothing really else to play for but now since they've come in um, the last couple of years they're great, they're great for the league, it adds excitement, we're hopeful now when we get the game um, and long for that we have a big crowd there, a big support there. We, we'd urge everyone to come out and see us. It's, it's, for me, I think it's a joy for them to come out and watch the lads play football. And we'll be telling them that they're hopeful that we'll have big crowds there supporting us. The crowds that have been with us all year have been great. I mean, we had a number coming down there tonight supporting us and a horrendous night uh, weather-wise. But they stuck with us and I think they came down and they've seen a very good performance from the lads. So, um, yeah, they're great. Playoffs are great and it, it gives us a choice and an option now that if we're successful in it and we go where we want to go, the club can be back in the first division, and that's the end. Sorry, in the Premier, the and that's the aim, of course. And uh, just to highlight the fact that the every match in the playoffs, the, well, the first round against Cavan Teal, they're both Friday night games. So yeah. when Longford Town hosts the second leg, they normally play on a Saturday night, but yeah. the second leg will be on a Friday night, October 11th. Yeah. So that's crucial to drum home to everyone in Longford that the playoff game will be in Longford on a Friday night. Yeah, no, like I say, on a Friday night, so we're hopeful. I don't know what the situation with the GAA season or whatever else is happening there, but listen, we do urge the whole town, anyone, if you, your neighbour, your friends, your cousins, anyone that you can bring along to the games, bring them along. They enjoy watching Longford Town playing, and with their support, it can help us to get to the next round, and then the next round, and then we are where we need to be. But I'd love to see a massive crowd um, at St. Collins Stadium support, it's really good. And just uh, finally, it's great to see Johnny Martin back at the club, of course, everyone knows Johnny and the success he enjoyed with Longford Town years ago. It's great to see John, who played with heart and passion for Longford Town, in with you and the coaching staff now, ahead of the playoffs. Yeah, no, it's great. Johnny's been great since he's came in. He, he offers an awful lot to the, the staff that we have, with his, how he is as a person, his knowledge of the game and uh, how he is with the players. So it, it's brilliant, it's great to add him to, to the team. And we have a great staff there. Like you look at Jerry, you talk about Willie, you look at Ian, you have Albert. I mean, there's so many good people on our staff and I think that's important, surrounding yourself with good people. And, and we're probably blessed in a way if you have so many good people involved with the club. And um, so it's a pleasure to work with you.